What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. I'm your boy, Fat Mike. And if you haven't noticed by now from the name, tonight we are going to be talking about Leah Thomas, formerly known as Will Thomas. Um, we are also going to be making mention of this other transgender swimmer, Isaac Hennig. I believe that's how you say the last name. I'm... Don't get mad for me slaughtering the name. I'm sure people can't say my name properly. So, tonight... I guess we will start with this episode of Hannity that has, um, shit, what is her name, um, Caitlyn Jenner. I don't think I've ever made mention of her in any video. I don't really talk about her much. Um, but I've actually, well, I have talked about her to my couple of my friends. But after this video, I, I've gained a lot of respect for her. So let's get into this. That's the wrong window. That's the wrong window. Yeah, we'll just go this way and then drag. So, um, let's see. Yeah, let's bring this up. Actually, you know what? Instead of making this, dude, I have so many windows on here. We'll do that to make it full screen. All right, so let's get into this. And tonight, controversy continues to swirl around the University of Pennsylvania transgender swimmer, Leah Thomas, whose continued participation in and dominance of women's swimming prompted the NCAA to issue a rule change. Now, following a vote last week, they agreed to, quote, take a, quote, sport-by-sport -sport approach to transgender participation. Now, while deferring to the national governing body of each... Just to put my quick sense into the shit like where I completely stand with the transgender swim well transgender anything that wants to get into a sport that has been basically men well a man or a woman I personally believe that they should just create their own little category for them to where if you want to do this, you have to compete against other transgender people. So that's where I fully sit completely with this. And Hopefully, by the end of this video, you'll understand why. And hopefully, you'll agree with me. Caitlyn Jenner does. So, let's get into it. Sport, in this case, the U.S. swimming for an official policy. Now, the NCAA deferring this policy uh, making only has led to more confusion. Many of these governing bodies have no official guideline at all. Meanwhile, it's confusing because you're trying to create some weird ass rules to allow someone into a classification 
that technically they don't fall into either of them, so they should just have their own special classification. Her continued domination of the sport is sparking widespread outrage. Now, Piers Morgan writing in the New York Post calling... And the other one that I'm going to speak on, the Isaac person, that's at least the second transgender person, well, especially for the swimming, which goes to show both ways, which which I also don't get. The, the one's a girl transferring into a guy. Then you got the one that's a guy transferring into a girl. The biggest thing I don't get is why are they both in the female category? You don't see the girl trying to transfer to a guy trying to go over to the guys. Because she knows she's going to get destroyed. So she's going to stick with this shit and then she's going to take the, the, the testosterone and shit. Basically like steroids almost. And it's going to make her outperform the girls. So because of the testosterone in her, she's outperforming even the, the guy going into the transgender, uh, into the girl now. So I mean, that shows you the difference between fucking female hormones and fucking testosterone. You know, I mean, guys and girls are different. The NCAA to, quote, stop this woke insanity now. The father of another Penn swimmer lamenting, quote, in an anonymous interview with Fox News that her teammates are realizing they'll never have a chance at winning podium, winning the podium so long as she continues to compete given the physical disadvantages that they face. But and that is completely the fucking truth. That testosterone is going to build muscles. <clears throat> that testosterone is going to make muscle into the girl that the other girls don't have um and then you have the guy that's transferring into the girl that's already went through puberty that's already built this muscle mass and even with him taking these hormone changers and testosterone blockers you've already got muscle mass and larger lungs and, and so on and so forth that that's not going to be able to be affected by that so you have way more of an advantage on the shit than these people have that's been in this longer than you and it, it's totally messed up man ideology doesn't stop with athletics as we're now learning tonight Chicago Chicago public school teachers are now being forced to undergo training in which they were told that how's this gonna fucking work out please someone for the love of God tell me how this is gonna fucking work out Chicago schools training says sex not rooted in biology tells teachers to hide yo if there was a time for god well jesus to walk this fucking earth would be the time now this is so fucked up Sex is a social construct not rooted in biology. Now, Olympic gold medalist and former California gubernatorial candidate, Caitlin. Love these ladies. Love these ladies. Hate the woke mob. Love these ladies. I did hate Caitlyn Jenner for a long time. But she's gained respect from me after this video. And Jenner, Fox News contributor Tammy Bruce, join us for reaction. Uh, Caitlin, I noticed in the before I watched this originally, the looks on Caitlyn Jenner's face, yo. Caitlyn Jenner, Fo hold on. Construct not rooted in biology. Now, Olympic gold medalist and former California gubernatorial candidate Caitlyn Jenner, Fox News contributor Tammy Bruce, join us for reaction. <laughs> 
Like, yo, at first, I didn't know how friendly she was with Hannity. Because how she originally looks right here, she looks like she's just getting ready to tear into him. But I'm surprised, yo, she really blew my mind with what she says. Uh, Caitlin, I noticed in the Piers article, you were quoted as saying some really interesting things to me. Uh, and we've known each other for a long time. And you said the NCAA is kicking the can down the road. In the case of Leah Thomas, you said, you don't care about her testosterone levels now for the last year or two, but you care about it for the first 16 or 17 years of her life. And you even mentioned that you wouldn't play in a woman's all women's golf tournament because you can still outdrive all girls by 100 yards and you have no testosterone. Um, I know you've taken heat for saying that. Explain. Well, I've been pretty consistent, Sean, from the beginning. I've said that biological boys should not play in women's sports. It is just not fair. We have to protect women's sports from something like this. Amen. Um, Leah Thomas, uh, first of all, I respect her right to live her life authentically. Suffering from gender dysphoria is a horrible lifelong struggle. struggle. And every story is different. Let me tell you, Sean, I know that one. And I respect her right to do that. But with that comes some responsibility and integrity in what you're doing. And I don't know why she's doing it. Uh, we, we live in this woke world I, right I'm now. I'm gonna tell you why. That's driving me crazy. I feel sorry for the girls on the Penn team because they have to be so woke and say, oh, this is great, we're down deep inside. They say, <laughs> they're saying this is wrong. Um, and a couple of them anonymously because they can't come out and parents have now come out, uh, but they have to do it anonymously uh, and say this is wrong. And it is wrong. Um, and I'm and the whole point that they got to come out anonymously is because of the backlash and people that'll call them racists over sexist shit maybe well like sexism shit like how, how do you get racism out of shit that has nothing to do with an individual's race that's what I've never been able to wrap my mind around oh if they disagree with us you're racist I've heard some people even trying to pull the racism card for fat shaming. I mean, I guess I'm cool with that one. I mean, I guess I could call you a racist for calling me fat. I mean, I know I'm fat, but, like, see, where does that really fucking work? <sighs> This Generation Z. They did a good job at fucking up most of us millennials. They really fucked y'all's generation up. They really fucked y'all up. Very disappointed in the NCAA. They did kick the can down the road. and But we have to deal with this issue. We have to protect women's sports. They've worked so hard for equality. Look at Title IX. For years, they got that and finally got it through. I love women's sports. We have to protect it. Yeah, and by the way, Pierce Morgan was saying, you know, I want nothing but tolerance, fairness, equality for all transgender people. People wouldn't go through the lengthy physical, emotional turmoil if they didn't genuinely feel they were trapped in the wrong body and sexuality. I mean, Tammy, I think you know, that's a pretty thoughtful column. He'll probably be attacked for it, but he's saying straight up that well. uh, pretty much what Caitlin's saying. This powerful $99 drone is Fucking mute this dumb shit. Yeah, well, a lot of us have been attacked from both sides of the aisles for a number of different reasons, but you know what changes it 
is when someone like Caitlyn Jenner stands up for what's right, because that's what Hopefully. this is about. It has really nothing to do with transgenderism at all. This is about fair play. It's about decency. It's about being fair with your fellow competitors or with your neighbors. This is about the nature of doing what's right in the midst of whatever your work is, and if that's going to give you an advantage. And you, you must know, and I, I don't know Leah, I'm sure she's a wonderful woman. At the same time, she knows at every single meet that it is not an even playing field. She knows that every single time she blows out women's records uh, every moment. And that is what we're talking about here. So there is a small section of bullies who want no one to speak about this. But I can tell you, as uh, Caitlin has refused to participate in certain women's sports because she knows of her physical difference and her uh, the ability to do better because of that physical difference, having grown as a boy and then as a male. And now we know, I've, I've got several transgender friends who also agree that this is outrageous. We also don't know of those athletes who have like like she's not going to lose all of her male muscle mass she's already built it so i mean if she works out she's going to have more muscle than any of the other women and i mean the other females would have to use steroids to obtain the extra muscle mass and that would disqualify them for being able to do that sport so are we just supposed to turn it all into transgender sports or what would be the next best fit just to make them their own little special category so they can have other competitors within their group that's the the fairest option rather than put people into a group that will never allow the biological women to win again without having to take routes that would technically count as cheat because this should be taken as a form of cheating because in my actual vision no no news place has mentioned what I'm going to mention but we'll let this go on Refuse to do this because they don't make the news. So I just want to tell everyone watching that this is not about the transgender community. There is this is not universally what is wanted. In fact, it's about it harms the nature and the argument about about who people are in general. Let me tell you, if someone's going to be unfair as a transgender woman, they're going to be unfair as the man that they were. They're going to be unfair as a person. That's why this is about the individual uh, and. Even well, after 17 years with this network, I, I have to say this every now and then, Sean, is that as a gay woman, I understand the difference of living a different life. And it is about respecting the community and making decisions that's best in general for the people that you're with. Now, I know it's really hard to believe that we have a transgender and a gay person on the conservative aspect of things but guess what we don't care if you're gay or not but don't do shit that's gonna mess up things for us though it's all we ask for we're not out there trying to kill gay people or transgenders like the far left would like you to believe I got a couple gay friends myself I don't care Well, then I can. This ain't the like 1910 and shit like that. We've come a long way since the fucking days back then. But you're letting the motherfuckers that actually did all that shit 
all that and slavery and all that shit. And you're letting them fucking brainwash you today to think that all their way is the best way. And they're going to end up putting your ass back in fucking chains. And that's why Joe Biden was like, oh, they're going to put you back in chains. No, that's the real tactic that he wants. He wants you to think that, that the freedom's going to put you in chains, that his way's not. But it's it's a mind fuck trick, you know, to get you to do it. And then once it's too late, your ass is going to be back in them chains. And there ain't nothing you can do about it. And there's going to be, and it ain't going to be about color the next time it's gonna be about like your poverty and shit class like how much money you make and if you ain't making above this then up you're a slave and ask both of you the same question generally speaking Caitlin how many times do you find yourself running into bigoted people or Tammy same question we'll go with Caitlin first well to be honest with you um, you get that. I never, honestly, I never get that to my face. To my face, people are so nice. <laughs> right. They're, they're wonderful. <laughs> By the way, they're and, nice to me, too, and to my face. Then I walk away and I hear yeah, it in the background. Yeah, to my face. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then yeah. you go I, online I, and check comments, which I don't do very often, but sometimes it's find it kind of fun. But first of all, um, I, I can take a lot of heat. I'm kind of used to it, Sean. Mm -hmm. um, and to be honest with you, a lot of those comments that people make with nobody around, uh, I, I don't know if they really believe that kind of stuff. They may, but that's okay. I mean, honestly, I can take it. I'm about, you know, I, Sean, I'm a patriot. I love this country. I love our freedoms, you know, and I, and I love the trans community, but we have to do what's fair and we have to do what's right. Yeah. So. You know, Leah Thomas grew up as a biological boy. A couple of years ago, was on the male swim team. Um, a couple of years of, you know, hormones and testosterone depressants doesn't change a lot of things. You know, hands are big, cardiovascular system big. You see pictures, her back is huge. She can run, I mean, she can swim really fast. And it's it's just not All fair. Right. Ta it's not Tammy fair. Will give I you think the, the NCAA sure. has to really look into this. I Tammy, we have about 45 seconds. I want seconds. to make sure, yep, I want to make sure uh, that Caitlin knows and everyone else knows the importance of standing up for what you believe in, as the parents are, because we must make a, a turn here. Transgenders, gay people, others must stand up and must hear honest opinions about this, that there, it does no good for the community yeah. to be bullies or to not speak the truth about the nature of what's going on. I want to thank Caitlin for being a great role model and for doing the right thing and for everyone else uh, to stand up because it helps all of us in the community to be honest and to be fair. There's just no doubt about it. Honesty's the best policy. This is a full three months. No, did not want you to start that. And technically, I don't want to shut you all the way. So, the next shit that I wanted to go over. I don't remember which is which. Okay, so you can see that one better than I can on what I'm viewing it through. So at the bottom I have highlighted, it says 15 minutes, or yeah, 15 minutes, 59 seconds, well, 15, 59, 71 for the 1650. Now, they claim that Leah Thompson, I mean, Leah Thomas, swimming has gotten worse 
sense went from her times as a man. But I call bullshit because this is the one thing that, that, that I've been holding off on. So this is the one thing that no other place has really fucking talked about was her record, her swimming record from as a man to as her so-called female. My whole belief behind this is that Leah just got tired of say losing so she wanted to go damn it okay so what other one? Uh, then I had this one. Now let me pull it up on my phone so I can read it. So okay, so on Sunday, f yeah, on Sunday fifth of December, Thomas won the thousand six hundred fifty meter freestyle in a record time of 15 59 71 seconds okay so I'm gonna bring you up another one bring you up another one and that would be I think this is this one yes yeah okay so if you go here swimming and uh this is the Penn State website which basically hold on I didn't load that photo up hold up know if I even downloaded that photo. Oh, know what? That's where it's at. No? So I didn't download it yet. Okay. That's where I can access it from. So, Will Thomas, this is the record from back when his so-called days as a full out male. So I need to bring back this one. Hold on, I need to hide that one now I can bring this up so down here are his times as a full out male in the male competition so they say that his records have gotten better I mean worse no so here for the 1650 free 1454.76 well what's the time say here it says 
so wow a minute and and what is the female I'm I'm gonna look up Maybe I have it in them photos. Okay, so... Yeah, so she's always like seven tenths. So by this one. So while she is swimming slower than her lifetime's best for her time. On the men's swim team, she has already achieved a cuts for the NCAA championships. In fact, Thomas had Thomas has already swum times in two events faster than the winning times at least at last year's NCAA's in Akron. Thomas swum at swum a times of four minutes thirty four seconds. Six seconds in the 500 free, seven tenths ahead of Arizona State's Emma Norton, and the country's top swimmer, a uh, minute 41 seconds 93, and the 200 six tenths clear of Stanford's Tori Husk for the number one spot. So yeah, this, should, but the only person that she hasn't beaten, which actually beat her. was when uh, no. damn it I thought I loaded that one up too So, the only person that she hasn't beat is this person here. And I believe you say his name, Isaac Hennig. And please tell me why somebody that is transferring into a guy is going to be swimming still in the girls league like why is he still swimming against women if he's transferring into a guy and he is basically beating her with the times that she was beating the girls by. So honestly, these people need to just have a league of their own. They should not be with normal men. They should not be with normal women. 
because I hate to break it to you and the truth fucking hurts they will never be real men and women I don't care if there's people out there that's sterile and can't have babies that doesn't classify you in as the same with them either just for the simple fact that you can't have a kid you know I mean it, I'm just being blunt with it I, I'm not holding anything against any of them but I'm just keeping it fucking real and and that's what you people need to fucking do is wake the fuck up and realize what it, what is and what isn't what can and what cannot fucking happen and purely this bitch originally started doing this shit I guarantee it to fucking win thinking that oh I can't beat other men so I'm gonna just go do the bare minimal I mean, at le I'll give Isaac at least credit, okay? Isaac has went further than she has and has actually had surgery. Still got a coochie, but look at the scars. Like, he had his breasts removed and basically turned into pecs like a man so he has a man's chest now so I mean like I guarantee you this one has actually transformed into the simple fact that they want to be a boy or whatnot, you know but like <laughs> Leah on the other hand no you did this shit because you couldn't beat the guys so you had to fucking do the bare minimal to get in with girl competitors so you could fucking get more first places because you only came in second place mostly when you was race when you was as a guy you only had one race that you won but ever since she got into the female category She's been blowing away time records and shit. Nah, fuck that. Her and her coach... Her coach probably put her up to that scenes that they constantly say, Oh, he just likes to win. Yeah. Try to find a loophole just to get around that shit. Well, know what? We need to cancel that loophole and just create their own little category. So if you're a transgender female, you have the transgender female... And then if you have the transgender male, then you got the transgender male section. It's that simple. But I'm going to end it here. Oh, wait, wait. You know what? Let's talk about the sore loser. Yeah, she was salty. This was when she was salty that they let a male swim against a female. Damn it, man. I have too many boxes open. Uh, she was salty. But yeah, let's check this shit out. Because I found this video.
in a female's competition. <laughs> because he should be surely mistaken. that they'd be able to just transfer him into a guy stay in the female league and it'd be a good reason just to cut the titties off to be more aerodynamic or some shit because uh, if you're already calling Leah Thomas a girl then you should definitely kick Isaac out of the female league for already removing his breasts and claiming himself to be a boy so therefore how is he staying in the female league I should make a video about him after this but I'm gonna wrap it up now hope everybody has a good one Please be sure to like and subscribe, and please be sure to share and help me grow this channel. But until next time, I'm your boy Fat Mike, signing out. Deuces.